The best starting five from every NBA player's hometown team. It's simple. Steph Curry was born in Ohio, which would include him in the Cavaliers starting five. So I've gone ahead and come up with the top 10 teams that would have the best starting fives based on where players were born. Starting first with the Milwaukee Bucks, whose five is Fred Van Vliet, Max Drews, Andre Godala, Anthony Davis, and Myers Leonard. The Bucks today are one of the best teams in the NBA, but if they had a team just based on their hometown players, maybe not so much. Sure, Fred's an all-star. Drews came into his own this year. Iguodala's too old to be a starter. AD would only be there for half the games, and Leonard, well, he's not all that great. If completely healthy, though, these guys would do all right with two all-stars and an okay supporting cast. They have a good feeling that they still wouldn't be a playoff team. There's so many better starting fives on this in the actual NBA right now. Number nine goes to the Washington Wizards. For DeJounte Murray, Zach Levine, Joe Harris, Paolo Banchero, and Jaden McDaniels. And the Wizards rank here because their backcourt really leads the way for them. Listen, Murray and Levine playing side by side is a match made in heaven. They have the offense and the defense to perfectly complement each other, and it would be similar to how Zach was playing with Lonzo this past year, but only better. The only problem though is that besides that, they have no other defender on this team. They have the first overall pick in Banchero, but he's no good on that end. Joe Harris clearly isn't, and McDaniels is just nothing special. So that'd probably be a problem, plus they'd be playing kind of small, and their front court aren't the best shooters. So there's kind of a lot of negatives here, compared to the one positive of this team. So as always, the Washington Wizards squad wouldn't be the best and might even miss the playoffs. Now we move over to the Toronto Raptors, and their squad made out of hometown players, with guys born in Canada. And just more and more players are coming out of Canada these days, which has given them enough talent to really create a solid team. Made up of Jamal Murray, RJ Barrett, Andrew Wiggins, Brandon Clark, and Dwight Powell. Where we do share a similar problem with the front court not being able to shoot or stretch the floor, which could really get in the way. Plus, having both front court members as the two worst players of the lineup is never great. But considering there's three other all star level players, it kind of makes up for it. Jamal Murray is a great shooter that can always drive to the basket and create opportunities for open teammates, while RJ's game is still developing, but himself and Wiggins are great defenders. So there's a solid supporting cast, but the only thing these lineups are missing is a true star player. As for the New York Knicks, I'm sure they would give everything to have this improved five of players born in New York with Kemba Walker, who they just had, Donovan Mitchell, Jonathan Isaac, Tobias Harris, and Mo Bamba. All these guys were born in the state, and most would be a big upgrade from who they currently have on the roster. And the team isn't anything too crazy. I could see this as an actual NBA starting lineup, but the combination of offense and defense here that they have is perfect. Donovan and Tobias to lead the way on that end, while Isaac Isaac and Mo would have no problem handling the other end. I really still don't know what's going on with Jonathan Isaac though, so I don't know if it's even fair to include him in this video. I don't even know if he still qualifies as an NBA player, but he's got to be back on his way to playing games this season, so I just included him. And this team would definitely make the playoffs under Mitchell's lead, but probably wouldn't get too much further than that. The Detroit Pistons squad though is even better, and I didn't expect them to have a good team, but here's the starting lineup coming out of Michigan, where we have Monte Morris, Devin Booker, Kyle Kuzma, Miles Bridges, and Draymond Green. And we're allowed allowing Draymond to play at center because of how much time he actually spends at that position. The duo here is Booker and Draymond, and they'd be great together. To give a scorer like Devin a big man whose sole purpose in the game is to get him open looks off of screens, pick and rolls, and passes, as well as facilitate some of the offense so he doesn't always have to, would have to be Booker's dream scenario. I mean, it's why Draymond works so well with Curry. And throw in the defense factor in there too, and they'd be great together. Plus, their supporting cast really rounds out the team. Now, I get that this last lineup is flawed because Bridges may have seen his last days in the NBA already, but for this hypothetical situation, it's okay and we'll leave him in. Him and Kuzma would be great third and fourth options though. The offense that this team would run would get both of these guys opportunities and a ton of open looks to allow them to really excel. While Monte Morris at point guard is an alright fit. We take a big step up when looking at the Atlanta Hawks hometown team and I really like this one. The best players to be born in Georgia are Malcolm Brogdon, Anthony Edwards, Jalen Brown, Jay Crowder, and Wendell Carter Jr. Which is definitely the best lineup so far. And not only that, three of these guys are under 25 so they're set. While Jalen is a better offensive player right now, after what we saw from Anthony Edwards in the playoffs this past year, I could see him leading the way for this team on that end, while Jalen continues with his role that he currently has on the Celtics as the second option and main defender on the team. The duo these two would be able to make would be a great one for a long time to come. I think Edwards is on the brink of becoming a star, and next year is going to be huge for him. And not only that, but he gets to share the backcourt with Brogdon, who spaces out the floor perfectly and can create his own shot. While in the front court, we already know Jalen and Horford can play great together, while Wendell's like a young version of Al Horford, so adding his defense in only makes things better while Jay Crowder's shooting helps spread the floor. And this team has everything, toughness, offense, defense, youth, and the ability to play in the playoffs. With North Carolina-born players and the Charlotte Hornets team, we have Chris Paul, Seth Curry, Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson, and Lonjeris Harrell. And even if that's true, just knowing the Chris Paul effect, we could assume that these guys would be slightly better. Every player in this five is solid, assuming Zion came back fully healthy. And the weakest point here would be Montrez Harrell. And actually having him at center and Zion at power forward makes these guys really undersized and lacking on defense. 
defense. I mean, no one here is a great defender, so that'd be a huge problem. It would probably be their main downfall as a team. Offensively, though, they'd be great. They have shooters, they got Zion down low to dominate. And just imagine him and Chris Paul on the same team. CP3 made DeAndre Jordan all NBA first team. Just imagine what he would do with Zion, who already averaged 27 a game on his own. It'd be pretty scary. Overall, though, this team would be an extremely fun team to watch, but they probably wouldn't go that far, especially if they were all on the Hornets. The team the Dallas Mavericks could put together would be slightly better, though, with Trey Young, Marcus Smart, Jimmy Butler, Julius Randle, and Miles Turner. And right off the bat, these guys would be elite defensively and the perfect team for Trey Young to stand out on because they have three other elite defenders, meaning that it would hide his weakness of not being any good on that end. And I mean, a backcourt of himself and Marcus Smart doesn't get any better. That's the reason they just brought in DeJounte Murray to play with Trey. The reigning defensive player of the year would gladly step aside and just let Trey do his thing on offense. Well, not only that, but having a Mavericks hometown team would solve a lot of other problems. Currently on the Heat, it's clear Jimmy Butler has needed another true scorer. He's a true leader, but on offense, he's a really good second option and shouldn't be doing it all, needing to score 45 for his team to win in the playoffs. So just imagine if he had that with Trey. It solves the problem with Julius Randle too, who is clearly also at least a second option player. He's not a star, which is why it doesn't work in New York. So even having him as a third option in this situation is the perfect fit. While Miles Turner rounds out his team nicely and does lack on offense, but that's instantly made up for with the rest of the roster. Okay, and this one doesn't count, but as you probably noticed, we were missing a ton of great players because they're all international. So it doesn't count, but if we had to put together an international starting five, it would be Luka Doncic, Bogdan and Bojan Bogdanovic, Giannis and Nikola Jokic. So yeah, they'd win everything. But that's also comparing single states to the entire rest of the world, which isn't all that fair, and why they weren't officially included. I mean, now having Luka, Giannis, and Jokic gives them three guys that are going to go down possibly top 20 or 15 all time, and as a team, they all couldn't fit together any better. In the front court, Jokic and Giannis both complement each other perfectly. Jokic stretches the floor, and Giannis gives them someone to always pass the ball to for an easy assist. Then you add a playmaker like Luka to the team, and both of these guys would be at the top of their game. And not even to mention, surrounding Giannis with four guys that can shoot the ball as well as these guys can would be his dream scenario. And then giving Luka options to run the offense and play with is exactly what he needs, and something that wouldn't be able to be stopped. But as for the number one best hometown team, it should be obvious that the Los Angeles Lakers starting five ranks in at number one for players born in California. And the five is Damian Lillard, James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, Aaron Gordon, and Christian Wood. And yes, I made the tough decision of putting James here over DeMar DeRozan, but I just felt Harden would be slightly better fit on this team. And overall, they have everything. Elite defenders, elite offensive players, would probably have good team chemistry, and they have a great player at every position. Sure, Aaron Gordon's the weak point here, but his defense can be so good that it makes up for it. And his and Kawhi's defense would really help the backcourt who doesn't really excel on that end. And at this point in time, this one would be tricky as to who would officially be the star of this team. Lillard hasn't played with a star, but I could see him sitting back and letting other guys do their things, and James has been doing exactly that already in recent years. So even though Kawhi is the most quiet and laid back on the team, I don't think he would care enough to step aside for either of these two, and I think he would continue to just play his game like normal, which would elevate him right to the top of the team. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.